channel in today's video we'll see this store process and manage data on google cloud so this is a challenge lab and you get 45 minutes to complete this challenge lab so before starting the lab let's check the challenge scenario you are asked to help a newly formed development team with some of their initial work on a new project around storing and organizing photographs called memories you have been asked to assist the memories team with initial configuration for their application development environment you receive the following request to complete the following task create a bucket for storing the photographs create a pops up topic that will be used by a cloud function you create create a cloud function some standards you should follow create all resources so they have mentioned the region so once we start the lab you will get the region here so you need to create all the resources in that specific region then we need to use the project vpcs naming is normally team iphone resource an instance could be named kraken iphone web server 1 allocate cost effective resource sizes projects are monitored and excessive resource use will result in the containing projects termination so we have to ensure that we use the cost effective resource size so we have to use f1 iphone micro for small linux vms and n1 standard for windows we have to follow these standards whatever they have mentioned in this lab so let's start the lab the console is activated so let's go back here so let's proceed with task one create a bucket create a bucket called so this is the bucket name which we have to use uh, and we are creating this bucket to store the photographs ensure the resources created in us central one region so whatever region you get in your lab you ensure that you create the bucket in that specific region so i'll be copying this bucket name so here you can go to cloud storage click on buckets click on create you can paste the name so I am pasting the name which I have copied you can click on continue and the region they have specified so under location type you need to select region so for me it is US central one post that you can click on create So now you can see this bucket is created and it is not having any object yet inside that it is empty so let's go back here so you can click on check my progress and this will be complete post that let's proceed with task 2 create a pops up topic create a pops up topic called memories topic 946 for the cloud function to send messages so let's copy this topic name let's go back here here you can search for pops up you can click on this topics so under pops up dashboard click on topics here click on create topic here you need to provide the topic id so by default it will add a subscription so you just have to click on create you should get this message a new topic and new subscription have been successfully created so we are under this topic and inside that topic here you can find the subscription so it has added subscription to this topic so let's go back here you can you can click on check my progress this is complete now let's proceed with task 3 create the thumbnail cloud function create a cloud function called memories thumbnail maker that will create a thumbnail from an image added to the memories bucket so this is a bucket which we have created now we need to create a cloud function with this name ensure the cloud function is created using the second gen environment and in the us central one region so we will be making use of this cloud function so this cloud function will execute every time whenever there is an object is created or added inside the bucket here let's type cloud function so you need to select first one cloud run function it's a this is a event driven so whenever some event happens this function gets triggered click on create function uh, under basics under environments so you can select this cloud run function and the function name provide the name so i have copied this function name so this is the one so i have copied that 
and the region will be your central one and the trigger type will be cloud storage so under event type you need to select this uh, google cloud storage object we finalized and here under bucket you need to click on browse so this is a bucket which we had created in the previous task we need to select that so select this bucket so we need to enable these uh, apis so this api will be used for the to execute this cloud function so that i have enabled it here so you can click on grant you so you need to provide permission so for this function to work uh, correctly you can click on save trigger next you need to click on this runtime build connections and security settings so here let's set it as 5 your maximum number of instances then click on next click on enable so cloud run admin api was not enabled so let's enable that A runtime should be node.js 20 so if you click on this drop down you can find that runtime so you need to select that and the entry point here you need to paste the one which we had copied earlier so here you can find and set the entry point to memories thumbnail maker so i have copied this entry point name and i have updated there next let's copy this index.js file so here so let's paste that here once that is done let's copy this uh, this is the package.json file contents so let's copy this go back here so here we need to update that so once this is done you can click on deploy so when you click on deploy it will create this function so here you can see all the operations which is uh, going on here the build is in progress so once the build is complete it will next go with this service so let's wait for a few more minutes until all these operations are complete so now you can see under service it's creating this cloud run service after this is complete it will create this event arc trigger so under logs you can find the detailed log of what is happening so now this is complete so let's go back here we have completed the task 3 let's proceed with task 4 test the infrastructure to test the function upload a jpeg or png image into the bucket upload a png or jpeg image to memories bucket so to this bucket we need to upload an image once we upload that image into the bucket a thumbnail image should appear shortly after that so let's check this functionality so let's go back here and go to cloud storage buckets so this is the bucket which i had created so let's click on that bucket here let's upload so i already have one image file on my desktop i will be uploading that image so i'm uploading this jpeg image so now you can see uh, this thumbnail.jpg got created so when we upload any jpeg or png image into this bucket a thumbnail gets created automatically so here we can go to functions you can click on you can click on this function here so under trigger you can find this trigger this is a event of trigger so event type is this storage object whenever we upload any object into the storage bucket it will trigger this function so this function will create the thumbnail image so under logs you can find the more details so we added this world.jpg file into this bucket so once we added this bucket so in the next message you can see so this is a payload details you can find here so we have added this world.jpg into this bucket so as soon as we added this image it created this thumbnail so this is how you can find more details about this function how it got executed so once that is done you can click on check my progress and this should be complete so we have completed all the task in this lab 
once you complete all the tasks in this lab you can click on end lab once you complete this lab you get this store process and manage data console foundation skill badge so if you face any difficulties or issues completing any of this task in this lab you can post your comment under comment section i'll be happy to help if you found my video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel i will keep posting more contents on the cloud and the devops so please stay tuned to the channel Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.